So how is your university in Poland? And uh, do you study in English or can you only study in Polish? At our university, uh, there are majors that you can take 100% in English. Uh, but, but most of the majors that we have are actually in Polish for the most part. Now, English is still uh, necessary uh, because especially towards uh, the end of the, of the university program, there are a lot of subjects which are, um, let's say, quite quite um, specialized. And in those fields, usually, you know, the, the cutting edge of technology is developed um, abroad. So let's say in the US or, or generally in, in the Western countries where, uh, let's say, uh, the, the standard mode of operation is, is publishing in English. So, so even if the um, subject is technically in Polish, we do use a lot of uh, English language literature. So it's still a necessary skill and we, we all learn English at university as well. And I'd say the great thing about uh, studying in Poland is that uh, generally studying at university is free at public universities. There are private universities where you can pay to attend, which offers certain advantages. But in general, it is free of cost to study in Poland and uh, the dorms are quite affordable as well. Um, when it comes to space attractions, I am personally not aware of many space attractions in Krakow. Perhaps other members of uh, this discussion can can uh, add a bit more to this point. Um, now, uh, when it comes to student life, however, I'd say Krakow is pretty nice. Perhaps not the best out there, but uh, it's got its strong points. Um, our university in particular has a pretty unique campus, which offers clubs, pubs, food trucks, um, pitches for playing sports, and general areas for hanging out. Uh, concerts are often organized in the area, so I'd say there's definitely something to do at any given time. Um, and when it comes to Erasmus experience, um, I would definitely like to go someday, uh, but I, I haven't had the chance yet. Yeah, coming back to this topic of uh, student life in Krakow, I'd say that it's uh, quite nice in this respect in, uh, in, in Krakow, because we have like 23 universities in Krakow and about 200 thousands of students so there's a lot of students uh, and uh, at AGH for example once a year we have this big um, uh, this big celebration big uh, party for students that is called Juvenalia and it's really wild for a few days we don't have any classes but we can just uh, party there's a big parade there are concerts and and stuff like this this Mm, and also about this uh, space attractions, uh, I don't know any in Krakow, but um, uh, coming back to, to the topic of space and university, we also don't have yet um, any space faculty at AGH, but, but it's it is in the making. Yeah, it is in the making uh, because there is this project Universec, this, it is a cooperation between AGH and some other European universities and the purpose of the project is to create um, faculty in a space industry and that will work um, like that, that you can study on different universities half a year um, in, at, at each of the universities uh, because none, none of these universities have enough uh, professors and enough resources to create the whole faculty, but each uh, university will provide just one semester of studies. So we'll see when it happens, um, but I know that it is already in progress. And also this university project, uh, project is good uh, for students that want to develop in the area of space industry because they support going to different space conferences and um, making space projects. So that's great. Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to, to studying uh, some space related uh, faculties, uh, it's definitely an issue. It, it's becoming less and less of an issue uh, uh, because there are new, new, new faculties opening as we speak, but uh, still in Poland, I think that maybe Two universities, three universities offer some kind of a, a, a program that's space related uh, and that's, Warsaw, that's, right? Yeah, in Warsaw, in Gdańsk, and also in in Rzeszów. So yeah, that, those are like those are like three main main cities and main universities. Uh, and I think that's the most tricky part uh, about trying to do something space related because uh, you just have to learn a lot on your own. You have to search this this, this knowledge, uh, verify it. So there's not a lot of people that you can actually talk about uh, some some 
intricacies of, of, of uh, space engineering. So yeah, that, that's, I think, that, that's the biggest problem when you're trying to, to develop a project or something. But it, like I said, it's, it's uh, I think, progressing uh, with each and every year. So yeah, hopefully we will see a lot of uh, space universities in Poland in the future. I think I might add something to the attractions point. I think the closest thing to the space attraction that we have near Krakow is the Analog Astronaut Training Center. I know they're sometimes organizing like these trips to speak about uh, space projects and stuff. But it's not in Krakow, it's like near. What are the job opportunities after your university? Uh, to be fair, I have not been offered many aerospace related jobs, uh, especially um, here in Krakow. Uh, uh, Honeywell did contact me on LinkedIn, like recruiters from, from Honeywell in uh, Czechia, but uh, of course that's uh, quite far away. Um, so I am aware of one company in Krakow or near Krakow that is concerned with aerospace, uh, but its office as I said, isn't exactly in Krakow, it's somewhat remote, and I am uh, not really that interested in its particular projects. Um, so I am currently working in the automotive industry uh, as an embedded software developer, writing code in C. And uh, well, the reason for that is with electronics, many of the principles used in aerospace, which I learned at AGH Space Systems, carry over very well to industrial and automotive applications. Uh, some of our alumni, however, did create startups, and one such example would be Progressia Space, which uh, develops propulsion systems for small satellites. Uh, and indeed, some members of our organizations ended up working for them on, or for other, um, for other uh, space-related startups and companies. So there are definitely possibilities out there. Because I only uh, wanted to, to mention uh, Progressia also, because I think this is like... Um, the, the most uh, related thing to, to space industry that is uh, being done by by people who are in, in space systems. Before, uh, apart from that, we have also some people who created um, uh, startups in the area of uh, robotics, but this is not really um, space industry, um, but, but more um, just practical robotics not being sent to space. Past members uh, of, of the AJ Space Systems that are currently working in the in the space industry, uh, either uh, in the in the military technical institute or, uh, for example, I myself work. Uh, I've actually started quite recently working for the Polish Institute of Aviation. So, it is possible, and uh, definitely, definitely, being a, a member of of the AJ Space Systems helped me a lot to to gain a lot of skills, a lot of experience. Uh, and since, uh, like I, like we said earlier, uh, there are no not a lot of opportunities in Poland to actually study uh, something space related. Uh, the the student uh, groups that work on on such projects are the main uh, resource for for uh, future employ employees uh, for for those companies because yeah they are the people that actually want to learn this stuff they want to develop in those areas so yeah that and I mean I think also networking is a big part of our activity since uh, it also helps quite a bit with uh, getting to know people from the, from, from, from the industry and also getting recognized by them. So, uh, you know, putting yourself out there, showing that you're putting in the work and also going to events where, you know, there will be people looking for people just like us, really, you know, interested with space, working, um, for, for popularizing the space industry in Poland, you know, um, so I say they are looking, we are looking for them, but they're also looking for us. And by, um, you know, participating in different space related events as members of AGH Space Systems, uh, you know, we're putting our, ourselves out there and, and uh, definitely getting more opportunities to be, to be recognized and sort of headhunted for these companies.